Hiya, Peter here, and today we're going to talk about accepting mindfulness. Now, mindfulness is all the rage at the moment, and it is indeed the most powerful thing we have for our emotional and spiritual and physical health. It is so powerful. But I want to put you in a little situation which I'm sure you've been in. And that is when you feel like you've had some angry thoughts or some frustrating thoughts, for example, and you know what's bugging you and you are mindful of those thoughts and you hope that they'll go away, but indeed they just don't go away. And they keep on and on and on. And so it makes you question, you know, what is the power of this mindfulness if it doesn't help me stop feeling bad? Well, there's a sort of another level of mindfulness that one needs to go to, to be able to actually allow those negative feelings to go away. Because not only do you need to be mindful of how the thoughts that you're having are impacting your feeling, but you also need to accept it. So for example, you might be thinking, okay, I can see that I've got thoughts that are causing me to feel frustrated. But then the frustration doesn't go away. So then you need to actually almost go to this second level of mindfulness and be mindful of the fact that the frustration is not going away and accept that. That frustration is a natural part of having the mind and, and having negative things happen in your life. Now what happens then is that when you accept the frustration as a natural part of life, oddly enough, it does start to dissipate and you'll feel much better. So this is being accepting not only of the situation, but also accepting of your thoughts in it. It's a little bit of an advanced technique. It's not easy, uh, but it's definitely extremely powerful for your meditation and life in general. Hope you get some use out of it.